Hello, this is Hutch Online. Today I have a topic on Persona 3. It's about the unofficial nickname of the protagonist and where it came from. Yes, of course. It involved the psychological effects by voice acting. Let us take a look. In the game, he doesn't have a fixed name. You must name him at the beginning. As for film and manga, he has fixed names according to media. He is named Minato Arisato in manga and Persona Q trailer movie. As of film, his name is Makoto Yuki. You could call them the official names of him. Apart from these official names, he has a fan-made nickname, which is Kitaro. Where did it come from? And why? The most influential factor of which the name has been accepted by fans is the casting of a character in the game and a strong psychological effect behind it. The name Kitaro derived from a manga Gegege no Kitaro by Shigeru Mizuki. It is about yokai boy who fights against evil yokais and monsters to save people. Along with other works by Mizuki, it is very significant in modern manga history because it recreated yokai in context of popular culture. Yokai is spiritual being told in Japanese folk tales from generation to generation. Ancient people often associated incomprehensible phenomena to supernatural beings that materialize in the world. While good things are mostly associated to good spirits or God in Shinto context, bad things are thought to be caused by yokai. Mizuki revived many yokais that were forgotten in the course of history. He even created the appearances of some yokais that were known only by texts. Nowadays, the visual image of many yokai held by people owes a lot to his works. Without him, we wouldn't have seen yokai watch on video game today. First reason of the fan-made nickname is the shared characteristics of the protagonist and Kitaro. First and foremost, they are heroes in the stories. As said earlier, Kitaro is a good yokai who saves people. Although in the original manga, he had darker characteristics, he's been basically a good guy since the first anime broadcast in the 1960s. The protagonist is, obviously, the main character of Persona 3. Through his actions and decisions, you get involved in the incident of the game. You also have to see the hairstyle. Because Kitaro is a very famous character among Japanese people, it is easy for us to relate this eye-hiding hair boy to Kitaro. The other reason and this is more influential, I'd insist, in the casting of Igor in Persona 3. Yokoso Velvet Room, eh? Watakushi no nawa Igor. Ohatsu ni ome ni kakarimas. His voice actor, Isamu Tanonaka, is very famous for voicing a main character, Medama Oyaji, in Gegege no Kitaro. Actually, his voice is a symbolic figure of the anime. Let me explain why. The history of Gegege no Kitaro anime is long. It was first broadcasted in 1968. After that, they made one season 
in every 10 or 11 years to season 5 so far. Surprising thing is, Tanonaka voiced the same character in all of the 5 seasons. After season 3, other main characters cast changed from season to season, but he remained Medama Oyaji. Over the years, Medama Oyaji and his voice has become the symbol of the anime recognized by people of a wide range of generations. In conclusion, along with the shared characteristics among the two characters, a symbolic image associated with voice actor contributed the rise of fan-made nickname Kitaro. Oh, he's coming back. Looks like I have to go offline. Thank you for watching and see you next show.